eggs welcome back alrighty so what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to do a watercolor from start to finish so first things first of course you have your mannequin wig head but I like to kind of protect it just a teensy tiny bit I'm actually gonna take a plastic bag and pretty much just put it right over it nothing fancy I'm gonna go ahead and just tie it down just so that I can make sure it's completely out of the way all right so once we have that down I'm gonna go ahead and actually just put the wig on and mind you so this is a water color, right? So it really doesn't matter if the wig is wet or not. In this situation, the wig is actually wet because I did go ahead and previously bleach the knots. So again, if you need to check out that video, definitely make sure to uh, check out how to bleach knots video if you are a beginner and are not familiar. Um, and so obviously, if you're working with a unit that already comes with pre-bleached knots, then you shouldn't have to worry too, too much about this. All right, so I'm just sliding the unit onto the wig head. What I'll do is also add in a mannequin head with the stand and also some of these uh, T-pins. You guys may be looking for that. So if you can't find it in your local beauty supply store, I'll add it to my Amazon store. That way you guys will be able to just quickly purchase it and don't have to worry about too much hassle. So I'm just taking a T-pin and pinning down the wig. And this is just pretty much to make sure that it doesn't move. We are not going to completely saturate the wig. We're only gonna to be touching these layers. So hopefully about an inch out is what the goal is. So what we're gonna do is drag that product from the root all the way to about an inch and a half upward. Now the product that we're gonna be using to, to achieve this is actually the Clairol. This is a beautiful collection moisturizing color. It's a semi-permanent rinse and it actually is the jet black. So, so if you wanna use a permanent color, you definitely can, but obviously you are not gonna to wanna to start with wet hair. You are gonna to wanna to start with a unit already pre-dried but I'm going to be using this semi-permanent rinse just because it does the job just fine definitely make sure to put on your gloves and then what I like to do is just pretty much open this up and I'll go ahead and put some of the products into a mixing bowl just so that I'm able to just access it really easily and it's not too much of a hassle. When I tell you, you will not need a lot. <laughs> you really won't. Um, and so the other half of this bottle along with one more will actually be the mixture that we'll use for the watercolor. Now, we definitely wanna make sure to section off the hair just because there are areas that won't really need too much attention. So just section off the part where the actual closure is and you guys can see here, we can find the tracks, can literally put everything forward just to quickly do that. Hope you guys can see that there. All right, voila. So we have everything completely sectioned off. This is the back. This could totally just be dipped into the watercolor as is and you won't have to worry too, too much about it. I can already look at the hair and see just how dark it is, but we're gonna get it even darker. So starting off from one side, I'm literally just gonna part this and start to apply our color. So you can start with the, the base, right? If you wanna start from underneath, you can, but I can see that we really won't need to kind of bleed that too, too far. So I'm just gonna split this into two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush, and I'm gonna get as much of that product off of it as I can. And then I'm gonna, literally gonna go in into an upward motion, being very careful not to touch the roots of this meaning the knots because we just bleached them. And so the good thing about this is it already has like this little pointed end here so I can easily part and keep going. So we're just hitting the base of it and you can see a little goes a long way. You can even add some to the opposite side here and work in small sections because you really don't want this product to bleed through and kind of get on the lace. You want to keep it only on the hair. and especially focusing in on any of those areas where the knots may have accidentally been over bleached, meaning that the hair actually kind of got, you know, bleached in the process. And to be honest, with this, having this type of contrast, it's actually really gonna amp up the style so that you're able to really, really see that bleach work and it really makes the style look like it's growing from your scalp. Just because you have such a high contrast of that super dark black or brown or whatever color you decide to go with. And then of course we have those perfectly bleached knots, which just make everything kind of bleed and look so pretty. And this process may take about five to 10 minutes. And then of course the watercolor itself will only take about maybe two minutes. <laughs> and you guys can see, I'm just 
kind of moving at my own pace, doing the brush strokes back and forward, not trying to rush the process. And the fact that we're only putting it at the roots, it naturally is gonna go by quickly. It looks like we did a really, really good job of bleaching the knots. We only had a couple areas that, you know, kind of got a little bleeding. And then we're just gonna continue this up into the other side. You can even go in the opposite way. So I like to take a little bit along the hairline here and then start to kind of just split it up a little bit. And you see just how quick that was. Boom. Just that quick we're done. <laughs> or almost done I should say. And this is a quick look at just how everything looks. You guys can see not too much of a difference. The knots are still bleached. Um, everything is still looking nice and natural. And I'm just kind of like parting the hair so that you guys can really kind of see what everything looks like. And I'm very lightly combing this back without actually touching the base of the hair. Super, super flawless, super easy, quick to do. And then of course, we're just gonna go ahead and start that watercolor method with it, which is just as easy. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit while I go ahead and prepare my water. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and boil some really, really hot water. And then of course, you guys see, I have my container, which this is just like a clear container. I think I actually got it from, where did I get this from? Target. Yeah, but any container will work. I'm just using a medium sized one because sometimes I'll use a large one and I notice that the water is kind of too diluted with the color. So I wanna make sure to use something that's kind of compact and we'll be able to get the maximum effects out of it. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna Gonna go ahead and heat up my water so now that I have my boiling water I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it into the uh, container and you really really want to be careful so I kind of want to lean the pot in the container You can choose to fill this up all the way or not. I don't think that it's critical for you to do that. Um, all that I'm gonna do now is apply the color um, and kind of just go from there. All right, so I have my brush and then I also have my color. I'm literally just gonna go ahead and open this up. This is a brand new bottle and I'm just going to squeeze everything into here. All right. And then I'm just gonna take my little mixing spoon or brush, I should say, and really graze the bottom of this because sometimes the color will literally just sit at the bottom of the bowl and you really wanna make sure that it's completely gone and mixed up really, really well. That way you don't risk getting any chunks of color on the lace if for some reason it touches it, which it shouldn't, but again, just in case it happens, you wanna make sure that everything's pretty mixed up so you could easily rinse it out. So I just do this for about 30 seconds. So I'm pretty confident that everything is mixed up. Now we're gonna go ahead and just dip the unit. Now, before we dip, you wanna make sure that you have a place to transfer this. I'm actually gonna be transferring this into a bowl. So definitely make sure that you have something because you're literally gonna dip and transfer. Here's the bowl, have it here. I'm just gonna put it right here on the side. And then of course we have the unit. And that rinse has had some time to kind of set into the roots. So we know for sure the color is gonna stay once we rinse this out. And then of course we're just gonna go ahead and dip. So I like to start from the ends. And you kinda wanna do this all at once. I like to grab the base of the cap here. Just the bottom of it, so. Dip the bottom. You can kind of get some of the base of the cap in there as well. No big deal. As it relates to the actual frontal part of this, this is where we need our comb. So we kind of want to comb down the hair so it's hanging completely straight. And then we're going to completely dip, not all the way into it, but just carefully go around and kind of dip this into it. So we just comb it. 
you see we're kind of just combing it down and I can already see it's mostly turned black so that's perfect ever so lightly And then just to make sure that everything is completely saturated, which it looks like it is, I'm actually going to go ahead and comb through a little bit of this watercolor and then just comb that completely through the hair. ready to go so once we're done with that I'm gonna go ahead and just transfer it to our bowl all right so from here all that I'm gonna do is go ahead and just shampoo and condition the unit I'm either gonna allow it to air dry or put it under my hooded dryer and then of course I'll show you the final look So if you have not already, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave any comments or questions down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, babies.